How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note, if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and when you do, click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel. That way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at creating item bombs. Now I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, um, but we are going to create item bombs today and it's going to be a simple uh, grenade where you click an item, well a certain item and it's going to spawn an entity and it's going to create an explosion at that location. So the first thing we're going to do is we got this really big um, main class now. Um, you can totally keep this. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this delayed task here because I, I, I just don't want that. Um, so if you followed in the last episode, your tutorial class should look something like this. But we are going to head over to our events class here. Uh, we're just going to delete this uh, constructor here. We're going to create a new one. We're going to call it public void uh grenade launch and this is going to be a player interact event event uh once again make sure to follow me on github you guys can get all of the source code right on there and also make sure not to skip around this video or you could miss a line of code which could greatly affect the outcome of your plugin so just just important stuff there i say it every episode but it's important so what's gonna happen now is we need to check to see um, basically what action the player is giving if they're doing right click error, right click block, and so on and so forth. Um, but we also want to make sure that we check the items, right? So we want to go ahead and say item stack item equals event dot get I'll let it load here get item go ahead and import item stack and I spelled it wrong, capital S now it should go up and work item stack yep and then we also want to get the action right so we can say action action equals event dot get action all right and then there's block action and now the next thing we have to do is we want to say if item equal equals null return right because if the items null then we can't throw the grenade and then we're gonna say if item dot get type dot equals material dot um, what item do we want to throw out? Um, let's just do diamond you know we can make like a it's like a bait like you just like oh ooh, he threw a diamond out boom you explode and die um, okay so if the item equals diamond we are going to do something but first let's go ahead and just do system dot out dot print one and now I, I said this before but you should try to you should try to get into the habit of putting these lines in just to um, get used to uh, being able to figure out where your code stopped working and uh, whatnot. Also, last episode, I mentioned I was talking about runnables. Um, and I said you should use async really whenever you can. Um, just be careful with async, uh, async tasks, because you could, um, you got to make sure that it is thread safe. And if it is not thread safe, then I would be aware and understand thread safety. You should probably just go onto the forums um, and you'll be able to get a really clear and better explanation there. All right, so so right now we're going to check to see if this works. So we have a diamond and it is working and it's working on any any click right now, right or left. So we want to change that. So we want to say if action dot equals uh, action dot left click Error. We want to do right click error or action dot equals action dot right click block. And now this way they can do it on any right click. They don't have to necessarily do it in the air. All right. So now we know that this is going to work, right? So then what we can do is we called our main class here, which is private tutorial plugin equals tutorial dot get plugin tutorial dot class. And what we can go ahead and do is we can say what we want to do here, what we want to do next is we want to say lock dot get world dot drop item naturally and our item is going to be the item oops sorry well we got to do the location is going to be the lock and then the item is going to be item <clears throat> all right so what we want to do is we want to call this a uh, we'll set this as entity drop equals lock dot get world dot drop item we'll go ahead and import entity bucket entity I gotta make sure I'm importing the right things. 
and then we want to go ahead and say drop dot set velocity equals lock dot get direction dot multiply and now this value can be whatever you want basically whatever you change this value to is basically how far it is it is going to shoot right so if we go ahead and export this now I had to look at my other plugin here um, to make sure I was doing it right, and I wasn't. So we can, what we do now, as you can see there, um, we are just throwing out, we are just dishing out um, diamonds, but it's not, it's not really doing anything, right? And it, it's dishing out a lot of, uh, of, of diamonds, right? So there's, well, what was that two? So what you see, what's happening here? Is it's dishing out, it's doubling it every single time, right? But we don't we don't necessarily want well because we're picking it up, but we don't necessarily want that. So we want to go ahead and say we can go ahead and create a new item, but first let's go ahead and do item dot get amount or sorry item dot set amount item dot get amount minus one, and then we want to go ahead and create a new item stack of bomb equals item and then well actually we'll go ahead and do new item stack item dot get type and then we'll go ahead and do one because we only want one of them and then we'll go ahead and drop a bomb so what's gonna happen now is it's going to subtract one from our inventory here and as you can see there, every time I do this now, it is subtracting one, uh, even though I can pick these all back up. Uh, but it is subtracting, and we are no longer getting a value that is higher than what we originally had. So for some reason, you you pick up this diamond, um, you will not you will not get a value that you don't have that you didn't have before. I, I guess that's how I should word that. So then, what we want to do now is we have the velocity set as one, so it's not really going to go that far. We want to go ahead and say plugin dot get world sorry dot get server dot get world and now you can go ahead and actually do you know lock dot get world it let's actually do it that way so let's go ahead and do lock dot get world dot create explosion and now there's a whole bunch of different explosions here um, like one one you can do um, basically you can ch like set things on fire, you can choose how far you want it to be, but we're just going to choose this explosion, right? And it's going to be at, um, it's not going to be at lock, it's actually going to be at uh, drop dot get location. That's where it's going to be. The radius will just set as 10, and fire will set as false. Um, you can change that, obviously, if you'd like to. Uh, but what we want to do, that's going to throw that as soon as we throw the bomb, right? So we want to create a new runnable, which we did last episode. So if you guys were here last episode, you guys know how to create this runnable. Basically, it's going to be um, new bucket runnable, and we're going to import the unimplemented methods. We're going to get this line right here, and we're going to pop that bad boy right there, and we're going to go ahead and say run, run task later. And now you can go ahead and choose how long you want the delay to be. I'm going to choose 40 ticks or two seconds. And now we can go ahead and import this. We'll export this, not import it, export it, reload our server. And that was a really, <laughs> really bad idea. I totally forgot that um, I have uh, damage on. So let me refix this really quick. Let's go over here and we can go ahead and do this. So if we throw it, again, we don't have a lot of velocity. And obviously the item will disappear. But you can honestly um, set the item to disappear uh, with this. But you can see there it set off a bomb at the radius of 10. And we can go ahead and check it out there too. There it is. But now if we change this, say we change this to 10, what's going to happen now is we threw it really really far I don't even know where I don't even know where this one went you can see it just goes 
it just goes ridiculously fast and ridiculously far. Um, so you probably don't want ever to have a value like that. I would say probably maximum two. Um, I mean, that is going to make it a, a fair a fair distance. And now you can see here that it, it spawns from my feet, right? Because it's spawning from my location. So what you can do if you, if you want to change this, you can actually go ahead and just say lock.set set y is lock.get y plus one. So you can move it up one, or you could even move it up two, um, depending. Two would basically be at the player's head. Um, so if you wanted to spawn a little higher there you can see there it spawned from my head or I can go ahead and make this actually uh, one oops I can actually go ahead and say 1.5 f and this is going to spawn it just about at my um, at my face level there you can see it's coming right from um, my uh, crosshairs so that is one way can, I'm destroying my world right now. So you can spawn it from the crosshairs if you do 1.5, which you probably want to do because um, you can actually get a, a much a much better throw, and you know it's 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 much more logical that way. You I mean you can you can see that it's 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 I don't know I think it just looks much much better this way. Okay, I gotta stop blowing these up. Um, but you definitely want to make sure that you do this runnable, or it's gonna explode in your face uh, as soon as. Uh, as soon as you throw it and you do not want that so that is really all I got for you guys and uh, I'll show you this real quick where you guys can set this to true and what's gonna happen now is there's just going to be some some fire right it's just gonna cause some fire so that can be really good if that's the sort of bomb you're looking for um, but this is how you can simply make uh, grenades um, it's not really that complex and it might seem like it's really complex but it's actually really easy it's about oh I don't know 10 or 12 lines of code so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a comment drop a like and subscribe for more also all the code that you saw in this video will be available to you guys on github so make sure to go on there guys make sure to go go on there I can't stress that enough I get lots of people asking um, about how I did a certain code or how I did something and it's just go on github it's all there um, but that's all I got for you guys thank you so much for watching and thank you guys all for your support